Okay, this is part two of the convolution of two rectangular pulses. And in the last video, uh, we talked about uh, how you can actually perform the, the convolution for a particular value of t. We'd arbitrarily chosen this value of t to be one half, and got that at one half, these two signals convolved with each other has a value of one half. So let's see if we can be a little more general now and start to look at how this works and uh, where you're going to, uh, or what different values of t you're going to want to look at. So we'll redraw x of tau, again, because we have a dummy variable of integration tau. It looks like this. So it goes out to 1 at a height of 1. And again, uh, we're going to take h, flip it about the y-axis, so this will give us h of minus tau, so that goes from 1 out to minus 3, and then we're going to shift it by a value of t. And so the first, the first value of t that we're going to try is suppose we have t be negative, so that um, we get a picture that looks something like this. We're going to take our h that's been flipped, and now we're going to shift it by some negative t, so that we've got this value of t here, and again, this t is negative. And this point out here, which is even farther uh, to the left of the uh, uh, to the y-axis, is um, let's see t minus three. Okay. So the reason I've chosen to have a negative t is my x of tau here is non-zero between 0 and 1. And with the negative t, my h, flipped and shifted, is actually shifted so far to the left that the non-zero parts of h and x don't even overlap. So basically, whenever the shif shifted and flipped h is 0, or is non-zero, x is zero, so out here. And whenever x is non-zero, the shifted, or the flipped and shifted h is non-zero, so you get the product being zero everywhere, okay? And if I have a function that's zero everywhere and I integrate it, then um, that integral is going to be zero. So what we've learned then is that if t is less than 0, the integral, which again represents the convolution, is also equal to 0. Okay, so that's, um, that's a useful result. We've actually knocked off half the real line by looking at the case where t is negative. Okay, so um, we'll try to erase just some of this. Uh, we'll just erase it all. And while we're tidying up, we'll just keep tidying up. Okay, so let's redraw our x. And while I'm redrawing it, I'll ask you to think about um, a value of t that you might use that's not less than zero, so something different than what we just came up with, that also gives us a uh, convolution value of zero. So I'll give you a minute to try to figure out what that might be before I tell you the answer, because it's better better for your understanding to uh, think about it for a minute. 
Okay, so if you haven't figured it out yet, pause the video and get it figured out. Once you've got it figured out, come back. Okay, so if we know that when the flipped and shifted uh, version of h, does the non-zero part of that doesn't overlap uh, x, everything's zero. So that says, that why don't we look at something like this, where we take our flipped and shifted h, and now this is the part that gets a little tricky. You've got to be careful on this to make sure you get it labeled correctly. This point here is t, because again we've taken the the point where the flipped version is 0, and we've shifted that to t. So basically, on this waveform, we have something that looks like this, or, or these two points correspond to each other. So if this point here is t, that means this point here is going to be t minus 3. Okay, and so given the picture we have here, obviously, hopefully it's obvious, if I take um, x of tau, where it's non-zero, that's between 0 and 1, and uh, if I look at the flipped and shifted h of tau, where it's non-zero, that's between t minus 3 and t. And if I choose t to be big enough so that these guys don't overlap, so so the, the zero part, or the non-zero parts of h and x don't overlap, then the product of these two guys will be zero. So we'll draw this in the color we've been using for products. And the integral will be zero. So I've got another case here where x of t convolved with h of t is equal to zero. But now the question is, what values of t is this going to hold for? Well, clearly the answer depends on this edge of the flipped and shifted h and this edge of x. Okay, this edge is at t minus 3, this edge is at 1. So I'll have this result hold as long as t minus 3 is greater than 1. Okay, I want this t minus 3, this edge of my h, to be to the right of the right edge of my x. And so I can manipulate this and get t is greater than 4. Okay, so for t greater than 4, I've got an answer, which is that uh, the convolution of the two waveforms is still zero. So um, we're at a point where we know what happens to the far left and to the far right, but now we have to ask ourselves what happens when the non-zero parts of x and h overlap. Well, let's actually look at that and see what happens. First we'll tidy up. Try not to tidy up everything. Okay, so let's redraw h or x. Okay, so this goes one has a height of one. This is tau. This is x of tau. Okay, so now why don't we? Well, let's, we want uh, the non-zero parts to overlap. Uh, why don't we start off, in this case, by putting the right edge of the flipped and shifted h to the right of the right edge of x of tau, and the left edge of our flipped and shifted h to the left of x of tau. So now we've got something that looks like this. Again, to make sure it's clear. It, we've 
gone like this, and this point here is t, and this point here is t minus 3. Okay, and we'll come back to that in just a minute. But first, we need to look at where this product is non-zero. Well, it turns out that everywhere that x of tau is 0, the product will be 0. So that takes care of everywhere between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1, the product of x of tau and our flipped and shifted h is going to be 1. So I need to find then the area under this rectangle it has a base of width 1 and a height of 1. So the area of this rectangle is always going to have, or is always going to be 1. Okay, so we can say, whoops, in the color that we're collecting results with, x of t convolved with h of t is equal to 1 for some values of tau. And I'm sort of running out of time here, so I'll stop this video and start another one where the mystery of what values of uh, uh, t that holds for will be solved.